with Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. More wet weather out there this evening. Let's just forget about that for a split second and talk about Friday. Friday date night. It's Valentine's Day and you will need to cut up for warmth here Friday evening. Temperatures in the 30s, but hey, the trade off will be nice, quiet weather with not a raindrop in sight. Today, though, with our Alpha Insurance Camera Network, clouds, rain, storms, flooding, we have everything going on out there. Thankfully, the severe weather situation today was not as bad as it otherwise could have been. We had some wind gusts, there were some trees that came on down. And we had some power line issues in places, but overall a minor event in the big picture of severe weather in North Mississippi and West Alabama. But we still have the rain out there locally. This goes all the way back down into Louisiana. So as we go through the night, all of this will be shifting from west to east and we'll tap into some drier air starting tomorrow. The clouds will hold tough but at least we'll dry things out. Anywhere from a quarter of an inch to maybe over one and a half inches of additional rain tonight. Here's a drone shot from the flooded area in the Columbus uh, vicinity right there just south of downtown. You can see how wet it is right there at the 82 exit. So extremely high water. The 10 Tom has come up three feet today, just over 163 feet at the gauge at the lock and dam. It may go up another foot here over the next 24 hours before we go down this weekend. So these flooding issues will continue for at least four or five more days across our region. So that was the Stennis lock and dam in Columbus. The Luxapalai La Creek on the east side of town still very, very high, flirting about uh, 121 or uh, 21 and a half feet here, maybe close to 22. A gradual descent toward Towards the weekend. Your Buttahatchee River stage near Aberdeen. We are above flood stage that will continue through the weekend. The uh, Tom Bigby at Amory, I think it for the most part has crested, but it may go up a little bit to incorporate the rain we're getting right now, but things will improve by the weekend. The Knoxby River at Macon will stay above flood stage through the weekend. So things will be slow to improve, but as we get into the weekend and get some dry air in here, dry air in here, things will get better. 60 southeast, 48 in Oxford right now. Drier, cooler air coming on in. By the time you wake up in the morning, we are down into the 40s. Here's Roxy, our Emerson Animal Hospital first alert forecast. You can see she will be enjoying temperatures in the 40s tomorrow. A lot of cloud cover for a good chunk of the day, but at least it will be on the drier side here. So that cooler, drier air will come on in behind the cold front that has been moving on through. Clouds hold tough tomorrow. We'll clear it out late, and then high pressure settles in for your Friday and Saturday. And and that means sunshine. What is sun? We just don't even know at this point. So we will enjoy at least two good days here, Friday and Saturday, but it will be chilly. Overnight lows here will be back into the 20s Friday morning and Saturday morning. 62 Sunday, some showers are possible. More rain next week.